This is unreal. I mean, this is just what it's all about right here. I mean, look at these skies. Oh my gosh, what is this? All right, so we're hiking out here at the Red River Gorge, getting ready to uh, head up to Hanson's Point. It's like 85 degrees out right now, so it's gonna be a sweaty day, but it's just a short hike in, hike out. Uh, spending the night out at Hanson's Point and just enjoying the evening. Uh, this is one of my absolute favorite places to come visit out at the gorge. And uh, I'm just looking forward to some quiet tonight. And honestly, I just kind of want to sleep in my hammock. So if you're coming out to the Red River Gorge and you'd like to go to Hanson's Point, you're going to come up Tunnel Ridge Road and park at the Gray's Arch parking area. From there, you're going to go back up the road and hike about a tenth of a mile to a little trail that's off to the left marked with a white turtle, which marks the Shell Toey Trace. It also combines with the Pincham Tight Trail until you get to a section right over here. This is where the trail divides off. You can go this way up to the Rush Ridge Trail, or you can go this way, which stays on the Shell Toey Trace and heads towards Hanson's Point. Obviously, we're heading up Shell Toey Trace and we're gonna head up towards Hanson's Point. I'll show you a few things along the way so you can see where you're going. There's also a, an area of unmarked trail that you have to get on to go to Hanson's Point. It's not one of those areas in the Red River Gorge that's marked. So when we get up here, I'll show you where you need to go. One of the great things about this hike is it's not really difficult. And for the Red River Gorge, that's really saying something because the gorge is known for some crazy hikes that are basically uphill, downhill, uphill, downhill the whole time. And some would be kind of difficult, but right now, this is super easy. There's some very minimal climbing. Uh, you're basically ridge walking the entire time, but uh, it's still 85 degrees out. And I'm trying to make sure I don't get into uh, too much sweat before I get to camp. Really not in the mood to be soaking wet when I get there, but I don't know if I can avoid that given the heat that's going on right now. One little tip for you if you're gonna do some really hot water, hot water, hot water, let's try that again. One little tip for you if you're gonna do any hot weather hiking, um, drink a lot of water before you get here. I actually drank two 20 ounce waters before I got to the trail, and that's not including uh, whatever I had to drink with my lunch. So hydrate up big time so you don't risk dehydration because when it gets hot like this, it's very easy to become, especially if you sweat a lot. So just a little tip there. Might help you when you're out hiking. <sighs> Looks like this might be a little trail down below that leads on across into a cave right down there. That would be pretty cool to go visit. Usually when you're hiking out here, you run into a lot of mud, but it's been so dry lately that uh, there's just not any mud out here. There's a little bit right here, but even that, it's pretty dang hard. Yes, don't, don't get a false impression about this trail. Uh, typically you're gonna be walking in mud at some point or walking around mud. That's kind of just to be expected. It's just been really dry the past week, so there's just not a lot of uh, mud or nasty stuff out here. One of the things I love about hiking out here is just everybody's so nice. Um, I've run into two different groups of people so far just hiking out here, and they're so kind. Just uh, talking about how beautiful the view is today out at Hanson's, uh, just how great the hike's been. It's just awesome how people are getting back outside, enjoying creation, and they're just so thankful. <laughs> I know right now I am. Being cooped up in my house for months was no fun. And I doubt it was fun for anybody. But it's super nice to finally be back out here on the trail and to finally get an opportunity to enjoy nature. All right, so we've hit the next fork in the road here. If you go back this way, you're gonna hit the Coomer Ridge Trail or the Buck Trail. That's gonna take you to another section of the gorge. If we continue up this direction, we're going on the Shell Toey. You want to make sure you go left here. If you don't go left here, 
you ain't right. Uh, the trail's been in fantastic condition today. Like I said, the lack of mud has made it really fun. Um, it's really hot though, so I'm thankful I'm not doing a whole lot of ups and downs. Uh, doing all that stuff in really hot weather. It's just no bueno, not a big fan of it. So we're gonna keep going. And uh, our next fork in the road will actually lead us really close towards where we turn off to go up to Hanson's Point. Luckily, we're still going the right way. All right, we're coming up on our next big turn. As you can see, we're coming up here. The trail goes straight or it veers off to the left. So we'll go down here, check out these signs, show you what they say. So if you get up here, you're gonna see the Natural Bridge, Red River, are three and three quarter miles to the right. And you got this trail here, which is deceiving. It says the Rough Trail, and the Gray's Arch and Chimney Top Road are all this way. But if you continue up this trail, you are not going to get to Hanson's Point. Instead, we're heading down this hill right here. And then shortly down this hill, we're going to be making a turn to the right and heading up to Hanson's Point. I can't see because of all the trees right here, but Hanson's Point is just on the other side of this valley. That's where we're going to be hiking up to, heading down this trail. And then we'll be right over there really within just a short amount of time. I remember the first time I came out here with Jason Wall and just how much uh, amazement I had when I got out on the, on the point and saw the 360 view of the gorge. It's one of the most beautiful views in the entire gorge. Um, I would dare say for most people, it's probably a top two or three. Um, it's just absolutely gorgeous. And the, height, the, the campsites are so abundant. There are so many campsites up there. And I have a feeling that tonight, because it's a Monday, I probably have the pick of pretty much any side I want. And here we are coming up on the turn up to Hanson's Point. Now you can take this trail down. That'll continue to go down towards the river. Uh, it's really nice down there and really cool this time of year because the temperature is about 10 degrees lighter. But if you go this way, we're heading up to Hanson's Point. I say we head up. things about hiking up towards Hanson's Point is just the sheer number of campsites that you're gonna see. This is the first one you'll run into. You'll come into a clearing. There's just so much room here. Uh, there's two or three fire pits, uh, tons of room for hammocks and tents. Coming to the next clearing. Again, another campsite. This one's a little smaller, but still there's an area for fire. Plenty of trees for hammocks, areas for tents. Great little campsite. And just like on the last campsite, we're just gonna turn right and head down the trail to our next campsite. As you come up here, you got two choices. You can go to the left, you can go to the right. If you come to the right, you're gonna come up on another campsite right here. Again, it's nice for just a few people. There's a couple different campfire areas, but if you take a left up this way, you're going to see something back there. That's pretty awesome. So we're coming to the opening up here. We just came out of that other campsite. When you come up here, there are just campsites galore. They're all over the place. It's just a huge open area. Tons of places to camp, tons of places to hang a hammock. It's just beautiful out here. I'm gonna find a place out here and uh, start getting my camp set up for the night. And uh, I've got a buddy that might be joining me tonight. We'll see if he's able to come or not. Hopefully he can and uh, should be a lot of fun. All right, looks like we've got camp all set up over here. Things ready to go. I doubt I'm even gonna use that tarp tonight. It's looking like we got 72 degrees and no rain. All right, so we're gonna hike on down now to Hanson's Point. Now that I got camp all set up, uh, the hammock's all good to go, and I can finally get on the trail down here and show you guys the reason I'm out here in the first place. 
This is easily one of the most beautiful things you're ever gonna see in your life. So can't wait for you guys to see this. This is unreal. I mean, this is just what it's all about right here. I mean, look at these skies. Oh my gosh, what is this? This is so insane. Absolutely beautiful out here. I just saw a father and his two little kids and uh, it was the first time his kids had ever been out here. And man, just seeing how excited they were to be here was pretty awesome. Um, I don't care how many times I've been out here. This is easily the, just one of those highlights that you have to experience when you come out to the Red River Gorge. Oh yeah, and now we're into the opening. This right here, this is the good stuff right here. Well, just got done calling the wife and making sure she was okay and showing her all this stuff around me. Again, this is like, I mean, how do you ever get over this? Like, I don't care who you are. This right here is just unreal. It's just beautiful. So I think I'm gonna head back up to the campsite. Now I've been here for, you know, like 30, 45 minutes. I think I'm gonna head back up to the campsite and uh, start getting some things done. Maybe get some firewood collected. Uh, I don't even know if I'm gonna do a fire. It's so hot. Uh, we'll see. I might, but, uh, at least get the stuff collected and get ready, do some chores and just kind of relax. I might even take a nap. We'll see. All right. This looks like home for the night. Everything's all set up here. Looks like I might have a really good view of the sunset tonight, which would be awesome. Being able to see that over there. Just got started processing some wood over here. Probably gonna have to cut some more. I went and raided some other old fire pits and just grab some wood out of those. Cut up a little over there. Started just now, started gathering some more. I'll probably gather a little bit more wood, but not a ton. Uh, like I said, it's pushing 90 degrees right now. And honestly, I won't do a fire until after it's dark tonight. It's just gonna be too hot for it. And even then it's still gonna be in the 70s. So it's not like I'm needing a lot of warmth. I think if anything, if I do a fire, it's just so I can have a fire. Campsite's all set up. I've already been down to Hanson's and now it's just kind of just kind of chill out time and relax and hang out. So for today's food, I'm trying a little bit of the uh, Thai gourmet from Stowaway Gourmet. Uh, we'll see what happens. It uh, if it's anything like the chili, uh, this stuff's ridiculous. So let's we'll see a little Thai gourmet food for dinner when you're camping out. I mean, we'll see what happens. Well, it's a little after eight. The sun is starting to go down finally and uh, decided to go ahead and get a fire started. Um, it's been the most relaxing afternoon I've had probably in a solid year. I mean, it's just been so relaxing being out here today. Um, short hike in and just literally relaxing. <laughs> Uh, took about an hour nap in the hammock um, and just been sitting by the fire now. Uh, I'm not sure if uh, my buddy's coming or not. We'll see. But even if he doesn't, this has been an awesome, awesome evening.
Good morning. Uh, it's not quite seven o'clock. I've been up since about 5.30, uh, had some breakfast, made some coffee, uh, and got everything packed up and out. And I wanted to wait until I got away from the campsites before I did any talking. There were actually other people backpacking last night. And so uh, I didn't really want to bother them too much. But uh, yeah, this has been a great overnight trip. It's real quick. I've actually got to be at work today. So I'm heading out. Um, but I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope that if you ever get the chance, you go and check out Hanson's Point. Uh, it is absolutely one of the top three or four spots in the entire Red River Gorge. Um, if you're interested in finding out about one of the other big spots here in the Red River Gorge, that's the Oxia Ridge Loop, uh, why don't you go over and check out my buddy Jason Waugh's video at Backpacking with Jason. Uh, he did a great video all about the Oxia Ridge Loop and all the different things you can see along that hike. Great, great video. Awesome guy. Um, but until next time, stay strong, hike long, and I'll catch you on the next go around. <music>